Hello. Did you know that OpenSUSE have a AUR? They have, it's called OpenSUSE software. Did you also know that they had a CLI helper? Kind of like what Yay is for, for Arch Linux. Well, they do. It's called uh, Open, uh, no, OPS Package Installer, OPI. And if you go up here and look at the GitHub page, you can actually um, see that I'm not lying to you. <laughs> Basically not being a deceitful little idiot. And it also how uh, show you here how to install it on the top of and leap and sudo susa linux enterprise i think this is what it stands for so it's basically just sudo zipper or cipher install opi and then you get the helper and what it does is it actually um, well let's run it opi open susa package installer and it basically just give you a, a, a way of installing from the OpenSUSE build service or the OpenSUSE software portal or what you will call a factory and all of those things. It also allows you to install uh, packages from the community repositories like Pac-Man and stuff like that. And if vendors have their own specific, you know, repository and you can see some of them down here. Adam, Brave, Chrome, Codex, um, .NET, Megasync, MSH, Plex, blah, blah, blah. There, there's a lot more. So let's say you want to install Spotify. So we do OPI and we just type in Spotify. And it will now search all of the repositories. And we had 28 searches, or not searches, results. Let's see what else we have here we can look at. Let, let's try number two, that's Spotify QT. And you can see right here, this is actually a better example also because you get different um, options. You have seven options. So the green one, this one right here that says OpenSUSE Factory Plus. OpenSUSE Factory is that testing bit. You can use it, up to you. But it could be a little bit uh, unstable. Then you have number two, that's from media. It's basically taking from the Pac-Man repository also. Then you have community repos. That's the red ones here. And you can see what version they have out here. So if I just pick, pick number two. And we play, pick yes. And do you want to keep the, the, the repo multimedia apps? Like yes, so they, it, it it seems like it was its own repo, not the Pac-Man repo, apparently. So I was wrong there. So if you go in here, you can see here we have Spotify QT. And then you have to log into it and stuff like that. Uh, cancel that one. So if you looked at, at OPI again here, you can see here they have some vendors. We have Atom. So let, let's try and install Atom. We want to install Atom repository, or Atom from the Atom repository. Click yes. So it's basically adding the uh, Atom repository. And as far as I know, this is the Atom developer's own official repository. And we want to install it. And it's asking us, do we want to keep the repo? Of course we will, because I think that also allows us to update it. <laughs> so if we go up here, we should have Atom in here somewhere. Do, uh, yep, it's up here. And then, if you want to update, you just do your normal sudo server. And I'm on the top of read, so it's DUP if you're on the um, lead. Oh, how to expose this all over the place. Uh, you just add in UP. So you just basically run your system the normal way. So this could be a really good way if, if, if for some reason you can't find the package you need under the official repositories and the community repositories called Pac-Man. You can install OPI, or OPI, sorry. And then you have access to basically the AUR for um, OpenSUSE or the PPA section for OpenSUSE under the command. So think of it as yay for, for um, OpenSUSE. That's the, uh, quite a neat little tool. It's not as powerful as Yay, but it does what it needs to do. 
and most people will not even have to use it. It's only if you want newer version of VLC or Cinnamon and stuff like that if you're on the leap and whatnot. So see you all later. Have fun. Test this out. And OpenSUSE keeps being more and more amazing.